In this video, I'm going to show you how you can record your screen while your face is also appearing on any of the corners. As you can see right now that I'm recording my screen while my picture is also appearing on the lower right corner. So in this video, you will learn how you can create these types of videos, which is a very popular format for tutorial videos. So without further ado, let's get started after a short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I make videos about technology applications available in education domain. So mostly for teachers and students. If you are interested in this topic, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this no. channel. So the first thing you need to do is download OBS Studio, which is a free and open source screen recorder. And it is not just free, but I think it is the best screen recorder which has tons of features. So you type obsproject.com on your browser and OBS Studio is available for Windows, Mac operating system and Linux. Depending on your operating system, you download and install this software. Once you have installed OBS Studio, you click on this icon and OBS Studio will be started. On user interface, the most important area when using OBS is this scenes area and sources area. There are few settings you have to do in the beginning by clicking on this settings icon. And this I have explained in another video, which is at the top of the OBS tutorial playlist on my channel, or it could be the second or third video in which I have explained how to do some settings initially when you use OBS for the first time. But most of you might have already used OBS so first we create a scene. You will not see any of these three scenes because these are the scenes that I have created previously for my videos. Basically, first we create a scene in OBS by clicking on this add scene or plus button at the bottom. And then we add sources to our scene by clicking on this plus button to add source. So first let me show you what types of sources we have in OBS. So if I click on this plus, you can see all these sources we have in OBS. For example, this audio input capture is our microphone. Output capture are the speakers. Display capture is an important source that we used for recording our screen. Image is also very important. Sometimes I create an image. I add image source. That image appears on this area and I explain something on that image while creating courses or tutorial videos. Then media source could be a video file, an animated clip or something like that. Then scene can also be added to another scene. So scene could be a source as well. Then we can also capture a window, a particular window. For example, if you are presenting in PowerPoint, you can add this source and start presenting from your PowerPoint presentation. In our case, we will be adding a display capture, a microphone and a video capture device. Any type of camera, whether DSLR or a webcam is considered a video capture device in OBS. So let us create a new scene. I click on this plus and I give it a name, my screen recording with my picture. And when this rectangle is around this scene, it means I am currently adding sources to this scene. If I click on this, then I will be adding sources to this scene. So now I want to add sources to this newly created OBS scene. So the first source I would like to add is my microphone. So I click on audio input capture, give it a name, my mic. Now I will see this dialog box. And on the right hand side, if I click here, now I have all those microphones that are available to me and are attached to my laptop. So my external microphone is Yeti. Then I have a microphone in my webcam and also a microphone in my laptop. So I'm going to use this Yeti microphone and click OK. And now this microphone will appear here. And as you can see, there is a signal from this microphone. So the second source I would like to add is a display capture and I give it a name as my laptop screen. Click OK. And now 
if you look at my screen there is a cross at the corner right corner and there is a OBS logo at the left corner but if I look here I can see the OBS logo but not this last sign it means my full screen is not visible at the moment so I have to make some adjustment and this is also clear here that my laptop screen is greater than 1920 by 1080 which are my project settings which I have done here so my laptop screen is larger so if you have multiple monitors that will also appear here but I only have my laptop screen so once I have noted this so now I will make the adjustment but first I click OK and then this is the rectangle that I have to adjust and if I hover over this corner and click my left mouse button and drag the size will change but the proportion the width to height ratio will stay the same and this is not what will work for me because if I bring it to the top as you can see that bottom of my screen is still not visible because my width to height ratio is not the same as 1920 by 1080 which is 16 by 9 mine is different so if I want to adjust that I have to click shift and then now if I hover in the middle and drag now the ratio will not be the same and I can easily adjust my screen to match the project setting in OBS so once I have done this the next source I would like to add is my webcam which is a video capture device so I click on video capture device I give it a name my webcam is Logitech C920 so I give it a name C920 click OK and now again these are the cameras that are attached to my laptop USB video is my DSLR which is Canon 70D that I have attached to my laptop on its USB port through an adapter and I will put a link to that adapter in the description but if you have a DSLR you can still use your DSLR as your webcam in OBS then I have an integrated camera in my laptop the resolution is only 720 so I am not using it normally and then I have C920 and there is also an OBS virtual camera available which can be used for many purposes and I might make a separate video if you guys ask me to do that so for this video I will be using my webcam so I click on that and now as you can see that my webcam appears and I click OK now I can adjust the size of this picture and place it at any corner of my screen while I am doing screen recording normally I put it on lower right or left corner are very close to the corner so let us place it here and now let me show you how it will look when I record my screen because currently I am in OBS and as you can see that it is showing my screen inside the screen inside the screen so let me start the recording and by, cl by clicking on this button I have started recording and now I will open a blank web page now this is the blank web page and now you can see that my image is appearing at the corner while I am recording my screen and for most of you guys this is it this is what you wanted and you ask for it but sometimes you might want to be a little more fancy for example you might want to put your picture inside a circle or inside a square or any other geometric shape or you might want to put a border around your image so for all that I will make a separate video otherwise this video will become too long for you guys to watch so I hope you like this video if so please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching and see you next time